All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, remember what we've been talking about. We've been talking about solving, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys two different operations how to solve this. Now, when we were talking about solving, we talked about solving, finding the roots, ladies. We talked about finding the roots of your um, equation. So, if you guys remember, if I had something like this, x minus 4 equals 60. To solve this back in lovely algebra 1, right, we had to isolate the variable, correct? So we had to undo what was happening to the variable. So the first thing I could do, Ava, is I could undo subtracting 4 by adding 4 to both sides. So by using an addition property of equality, I end up getting an answer of x equals 64, correct? Now, for this equation, you guys should notice that we only have one variable, right? So since we only have one variable, this is we can solve this very similar to how we solve linear equations. That means just undo what's happening to it. So we look at this equation, and we say, what is now happening to the variable? Well, the variable is being squared. That means it's being multiplied by itself to give you 64. So does anybody know the inverse operation of squaring? The inverse operation of subtraction was adding. Does anybody know the inverse of squaring? Yes, Sarah? the square root. And exactly what, that's what the square root tells you is to undo the squaring function. So squaring says take a number and multiply it by itself. The square root says what two numbers multiply by ourselves are going to give us an answer. But what we can like to say is they are going to kind of um, undo each other. So therefore I'm left with x equals the square root of 64. So the square root says what two numbers that are exactly the same multiply to give us 64. Well, the answer for that is 8, but also negative 8. Because negative 8 times negative 8 is 64, and 8 times 8 is 64. Right? There we go. So I wanted to show you that way so you can do that. Now, the way that we've been practicing is to solve by factoring. That means we have to have, we want to have it as a quadratic of ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, right? We said this was a quadratic equation. We can factor these by trinomials. So how can I rewrite this as a quadratic equation? Well, can I write it like this? x squared minus x, let's do this. x squared plus 0x minus 64 equals 0. Would that make sense? Because 0 times x is what? 0. I subtract the 64 to the other side, so now everything's on the same side and I have zero over here. So now, how do we, fa how do we practice factor solving by factoring? Well, we said negative 64, and then we said zero. So what two numbers multiply to give you negative 64, but then add to give you zero? Eight and negative eight. So therefore, we wrote this as a product, x minus eight times x plus eight equals zero. Then remember, by the zero product property, whenever you have two factors or two numbers multiplied to give you zero, you can say x equals 8 or x equals negative 8. There you go. Makes sense. OK?